If you have been following the channel for a while now, you know that me having a new bike is quite a big deal. And I'm not talking about a new bike just for myself. I'm talking about a bike out of the box. For the new ones out there, let me tell you, I'm a budget rider since the beginning. One of the goals of this channel, for example, is to share tips that can save you some money along the way. Therefore, I was looking for a good option for a while now, until this pretty good deal came up. So for the ones wondering why Beta and why this model, well, that's why. It is a good bike and it was within my budget. So now, is it good, is it bad, or is it just meh? I have no idea, but I want to figure it out. One thing you can expect is a fully honest review with all its good and bad things. So, let's start with some highlights of the 2020 Beta 300 RR. Counterbalancer shaft, oil injection, map switch, toolless air filter change, ZF sash shock, and separate function open cartridge forks, e-starter without kickstarter, and XL rims. One of the most interesting parts about being able to buy a new bike is a new video I'm designing for you guys. What can we expect from aftermarket bike protections? The goal is simple. Get a bunch of protection accessories on the bike, throw everything at it from hard enduro, enduro, cross country to motocross, and assess the condition of the bike for at least six months. The results will speak for themselves. For that, I partner up with two reference brands that are known for their quality protection parts. Polysport and P-Tech. Polysport makes polymer protections and P-Tech makes aluminium protections. Polysport will contribute with almost their entire product line from handguards, top fork protection, bottom fork protection and front discard, radiator louvers and shrouds, armadillo pipe guard, side frame and clutch cover, ignition cover, swing arm protection and the all new silencer protection. However, polymer protections can have limitations and that's where aluminium protections come in. Also, there are some protections that do not exist in the polymer version. P-Tech will chip in with their flagship product, the engine and pipe guard with linkage protection, rear brake disc guard, radiator guards, and front disc guard. Yes, there are a few products that exist in both brands, but it doesn't mean that they are just competitors. Being made of a different material or designed in a different way means they will provide different kind of protection and will be more suited for different uses. So, six months from now, I'll analyze the bike's condition, weigh the pros and cons, and let the results do the talking. In the meantime, you can expect standalone reviews of the products and obviously follow the evolution. So make sure to subscribe to find out the ultimate answer.